Uh, thank you very much, Cahirlock, and thank you, Minister, um, for uh, for taking this um, debate this evening. Um, I want to highlight um, the issue of flood relief works um, for the River Dodder. Uh, flood relief works that uh, were committed to by your pre predecessor minister back in 2012. Uh, we fought very hard in very challenging economic circumstances to uh, secure funding for um, a very extensive works programme on the River Dodder after a huge um, flooding experienced by residents uh, along the river. Um, at the time, um, a, uh, a schedule of approximately two years was set out for those works, um, so arguably they should be almost complete by now. But unfortunately, that is not the case. Um, a new um, schedule of uh, implementation of the works program uh, was circulated recently, which shows that they will now not be completed until 2017. Now, needless to say, Minister, residents are living in absolute fear. We were very lucky, uh, unlike um, as many of the previous deputy, deputies have previously pointed out, uh, unlike other parts of the country, we didn't experience the deluge of rain in Dublin um, uh, over the weekend and last week that was experienced in other parts of the country. Had we experienced it, I have no doubt but that the daughter would have flooded uh, a number of those homes again. Um, these are people who are at permanent and constant risk. Um, they are enormously disappointed um, and have a real sense of having been let down because of the slow pace of these works. Um, and they're also living in huge fear. They're living in fear uh, of high tides, they're living in fear of uh, heavy rain, uh, they're living in fear that their homes will be obliterated again. Many of them had to move out of their homes for months um, in order to uh, have remedial works done on their, on their properties. And of course, Minister, uh, the issue which your predecessor uh, took up um, but achieve virtually well nothing uh, is the issue of flood insurance. None of these homes along the Dodder can um, acquire flood insurance, notwithstanding the fact that some of the works have been completed, um, the so-called comfort letters being provided by, um, by uh, Irish Water, Dublin City Council, are not worth the paper they're written on. Um, your predecessor talked tough and promised to take on the insurance industry on this subject. Uh, nothing was achieved. I hope, Minister, you have a plan to achieve something because people cannot live in homes that are repeatedly flooded where the OPW doesn't act promptly and, and at the same time not be able to access um, flood insurance. Thank you. Thanks, Deputy. Thank you, Cahirlach. Uh, thank you for pronouncing my name correctly. Um, um, uh, Minister, I suppose it's disappointing um, that you uh, refer to the River Dodder, it's almost like an afterthought in, in your official reply, which I assume is prepared for you by your officials. Um, this is an issue that's now going on um, since 2012. I can't impress upon you enough just how serious this is for the residents. And I note, and I certainly commend you for travelling around the country to visit other flood um, uh, areas. Uh, but I might urge you, Minister, to commit to travelling less than two kilometres um, out to meet with, um, with uh, the residents who live in Anglesey Road and the surrounding areas, um, whose homes have been devastated and who are absolutely frustrated with the lack of progress and the tardy nature of this works programme. It's a relatively short stretch of river. Um, the money was allocated in 2012. Um, you know, the, the, the reasoning and the excuses that have been offered for the delays really would make you, um, make you wonder, and that's a polite way of putting it, um, otters that uh, nobody was aware of uh, when the works began, which have delayed some aspects of the works by up to 18 months. Um, it's just not acceptable. It's not professional and it completely ignores the fact that, that these residents are exposed in terms of their homes, in terms of the potential damage to their homes, but also financially in terms of the absence of any flood insurance, which I want to stress again, which is an issue that I had actually submitted for, for a topical issue this evening, but unfortunately it wasn't accepted by the Cancorla, um, but it is clearly connected. So, Minister, I really would like it if you would agree to come and meet with the residents um, in, uh, in the Anglesey Road area to discuss this and see if it can be expedited. Thanks, Deputy. I'd love Finally, if you'd commit to that on the record of the House. Is that a yes? Final Deputy Stanley.